Hello and welcome to YouTube video for this 2004 Georgie Boy Landau model 2450DS. A very, very unique motorhome. It's a class A motorhome that only uh, length is about 25, 25 and a half feet long. It's a 2450 double slide. It's got two slide out. Rides on a workhorse chassis. Got 8.1 Chevy with Allison automatic transmission. Windshields are free from any chips or cracks I can see. It's a trade-in motorhome, not a repo. Repeat, it is not a repo motorhome. It's a trade-in motorhome. Has an automatic levelers, driver's side door, two slide outs. Just a rare, hard to find short class A motorhome. Almost impossible. Got Michelin tires. I think they're 2010 or 2011 date code. But let's take a look at it closely. I'm not seeing any dry rotted cracks. But if you'd like to have a new tires uh, from anywhere from uh, Samson, uh, Chinese, Japanese, Korean to Michelin tires, uh, we're talking anywhere from uh, uh, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars to uh, twenty-five hundred dollars. You can spend on six new tires. But I like to get that out of the way. The tires look good. Sometimes people like to put a couple of news and not worry about the rear four, but they're not showing any uh, weather checking or really bad shape. They're five, six years old. All right. The slide out topper on a living room, as you can see, is wound up and has been held with the uh, bungee cord. We'll have RV Tech look at it and put it back. Uh, if it needs new, we'll put one on. Got just a little something here, but solid fiberglass. Take a look at all my pictures. The purpose of video is showing you bad and good, so it saves you time and me time because I, we, we sell lots of mud home on the internet with a video, and we're trying to show everything. With the pictures and video, I'm going to open that compartment door on the bottom. Let's see what's there. It just came in. All right, nice little compartment. A very long one, look like about a six feet long that goes about three feet deep, two and a half to three feet deep. Really important for a storage space. So this is not a class C, it's a class A. It's going to have a lot of storage space. Take a look at it, straight body, no delamination. It's a 2004. All right, here is your wash, uh, uh, wet bay. This is where you hook up your sewer hose. It's got an exterior shower, outside shower. All right. Again, take a look at the tires again. I think oh, a 07 of 10, but they're not showing any uh, tire weather checking damage. The previous owner must have had our tire covers and kept it indoor or something. It was a trade-in, and that's how we got it. Huge underbelly storage here. Take a look at that. I mean, it goes all the way deep. Take a look at that. Very big storage. It's got another high dollar, um, I guess what, what they would call as a surge protector. So your 30 amp goes in here, then it'll go inside. That's alone about three, four hundred dollars right here. Must have been added into it. All right, so uh, back here we got a Reese Type 3 hitch. Uh, 4,000 watt micro quiet generator. Take a look at all my pictures. Got a little scrub back here. It could buff out maybe. Uh, and just a little bit on this corner here, I think I saw. Yeah, again, it's not a big deal, but I like to show you everything. It is a used motorhome, 12 years old. All right, let's go top on top and check it out. We're up on top of the roof. Looks like it's been maintained very well. Uh, not, it doesn't need any maintenance. Got a max air on the both vents. That is a plus. So you can open up your vent without worry about it's going to rain in or not. The shower, skylight, and the caulking looks very good. Front cap looks good, so no problem on the roof. All right, let's get back down and continue our video. So roof is in great shape, as you can see it. Look at look at underneath. We've got a four leveling jacks, two in the back, two in the front, and they're automatic levelers. Here's we have a 4,000 micro quiet generator. Runs great, no problem there. Just a little bit of a weather checking on this decals here and some on this side and you could repaint them or put on new vinyls there bedroom slide out topper looks in good shape the uh, patio awning in good shape except got a little bit of flake but it's got a metal wrap 
That is a really good thing. Got an aluminum metal wrap. That's an LP tank and a space for spare wheel if you'd like to have one. I recommend get a AAA plus or good Sam club. And don't mess with this thing. This is not a car. Another storage, very clean. Take a look at it. No rust. It's a southern motorhome. All right, let's walk in this motorhome now. I'm gonna take my shoes off anyways. We got a nice new Berber carpet. That is not an original carpet. Let me shut the door. That's an original carpet and this is a, this is a Berber carpet here. All right, let's start in the front. So we do have a driver's side door. Convenience, we have a brake controller here. They must have towed something. You could tow car or boat. Really nice size of a motorhome. It's hard to find. Generator has a 604 hours. That's a generator hours. That's a very good hours. Take a look at this. Don't listen to the engine. The beep you hear, you may not. It's for the Bigfoot leveling jacks are down. It's telling you cannot move. Got a backup monitor. By the way, I just drove it with my Honda minivan behind it. I couldn't even tell and drives really, really nice on the, on the highway. Got only 50,000 miles. Got tilt wheels, automatic overdrive. Got a heated mirrors, power mirrors on both sides. A CD player. The dash air is cold. May could use a little bit of Freon. And that's typical. Take a look at the dash. Very clean. Windshields are free from cracks or chips. All right. We uh, got a Dynex LCD TV. It's been upgraded. It's not an older LCD or what do you call it? The CRT TV. Oh. Got a stand for that TV. If you wanted to take it off, I don't know why. All right. Driver and passenger seats are made by Flex Steel, a good furniture company that makes for RV. Here, let's look at on passenger side. Windows are not fogged up. Uh, got a little glow box here. Lots of counter space to put your iPad or laptop, whatever have you. Two 12 volt cigarette lighter. Well, I would call them a cell phone charger, his and her. Gotta have that. Little magazine rack here. We got double sinks. We got a little pull-out sprayer. Nice woodwork. Oh, we got an extra set of keys. How about that? We got two sets of keys. That is always a plus. So it is a 2450 DS. I think uh, I saw it online. It's 25 or 25 and a half feet. Take a look at this. Very clean gas stove, three burner gas stove. Got a Whirlpool microwave oven. Very clean. Also have a traditional stove, a uh, traditional oven. I like this Berber. It, it, I think it's a up, upgraded uh, carpet. Very good shape. By the way, this motorhome has no smell of a pad odor, or importantly, no smoke odor, or any water leak. So a very clean, neutral odor motorhome. So it's not cigarette burns anywhere you see or any cigarette smell it's a non-smoker motorhome that's very important uh the sofa opens up in a full bed so it'd be a nice full size or a little queen size bed nice little curtains everywhere really neat some drawers and Cabinet space under here, above here. Got double door refrigerator, runs on LP gas, electric power, and it's ice cold. I'm gonna turn it off. We just got this motorhome, and I'll tell you what, it is not going to last. Both slide out controls are right here. Your thermostat is right here. So there is a privacy door for bedroom. Not that little flimsy, uh, you know, 
the paper kind you see on some motorhomes. Over here we have a private toilet, sink, a good bit of a counter space, medicine cabinet there, another cabinet here, fan, fan up on top, and a nice little cute bathtub. So it's not just a stand-up shower, it's got a tub. Skylight up on top. All right, now we'll come back in the bedroom. Corner bed, so you can only walk out from here, but it's a 25 feet, so got a little nightstand here, along with a little bit of storage under there. Storage up on top. Nice window back here. Big mirror. We got a little vanity area with the day and night shades. Some, lots of little doors here. About six drawers here and about six more here. That was probably the, the, the drawers have them channels. They break. You can take care of that. And a seat in the last, look at this nice Cedarland closet. Coat closet, nice. A small little motorhome with a lots of punch. We got the leveling jack system, uh, two slide outs. Workhorse chassis, Allison transmission, LCD TV. It's got everything you need. Backup monitor, so it's not a Class C. It's the size of a Class C, or it's almost smaller than some of the 30 foot, 32 feet Class C, but it's a Class A. These are rare find. Give me a call, but I prefer text communication. My number is 864-404-0054. I prefer text once again, but if you have to call me and leave me a message, I'll get back to you. Uh, this motor will not last. We'll make sure everything works. We'll put a water in it. It'll be a turnkey motorhome. It's a used motorhome. Please take a look at all my pictures. Appreciate you watching my video and look forward to learning your business. Thank you. Have a great day.